welcome to the third class of the first level of Singapore math. Today, Start. This. today we're going to explore some addition. Okay. I'm not addition. That's great. Okay. So first, what we're going to be practicing is making stories. Okay. Last class, we learned um, making pairs and all of that. Okay, so um, we're, gonna, we're gonna start making some stories. So basically, uh, the pairs from last class, it was like an introduction uh, to addition where you find two yeah. numbers that go together to make another number, okay? And that's basically what addition is. You're just taking two numbers, you're combining them or adding them uh, to get another number. Okay. Actually, how about this? You guys, um, do you want to do stories first or the Kahoot first? Because I do have a Kahoot. Yes, Gordon. Uh, story? Story? Okay. Yep. Honestly, the order doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're going to do them. Both, but. Okay, Mason. Who? Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, now it's tied. Uh, I think someone just wrote. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. I see a people. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, Angela and Sophia, Kahoot or stories? You can type it in the chat. I mean, either response. Kahoot. Kahoot. Okay. Ooh, I'm sorry, Gordon. Looks like we're gonna have to play Kahoot first. Okay, then. Damn it. It's okay. We're gonna do stories later too, so it's fine. Okay, let me just. Okay, just like last time, you would create a new tab, go to kahoot.it, type in this code, type in your name, and there you go. Okay, uh, how about this, Gordon? When the question is on, actually, no, you can't write it. Okay, do you know how to create a new tab on your iPad? No. Are you on Safari, Chrome, anything like that? No, I don't know what is that mean. Okay, um, it's fine. Then, Gordon, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to like silently answer as the questions go by, okay? I'm sorry. Um, but after class, <laughs> after class, you can, um, if you can stay behind, I'll try and, uh, I'll try and solve the problem, okay? So that you can at least have yeah. the chat. I okay? can, because I can. I don't have any class. I can stay on. Oh, okay, that's great. Then yeah, maybe we can try and at least fix the chat. Okay, so just go ahead, kahoot.it, type in the code. Type in your username. There we go. Is anyone having trouble? Except for Gordon. Oh, okay, I mean to. What? Oh, nothing. You're good. Ooh, okay, Mason. Okay, uh, Sophia, do you wanna play Kahoot or? You don't have to if you don't want to. There's three people. <sighs> That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
I guess we'll start for now then. There you go. If you don't remember, the question is going to be up here, and then you're going to have to switch back to your own Kahoot tab um, to answer the questions, okay? Hey. It's too quiet. Huh? It's too quiet. That's <laughs> an echo. It's okay. Okay, what pairs make up seven? Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one is tricky. Technically, um, all of you guys got it correct, but well. All of those make up seven. So the answer was all of those. Oh, I know that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty tricky question. Okay, what pairs make up eight? Okay, there's Red. only one answer this time, technically. Red. Yeah, red. There's red. All okay, guys, let's not red. let's not shout out the answers, please. Okay, nice job. Hey, okay, Irene, taking the lead. Cool. Don't get tricked. This time we're looking for the pair that doesn't make up five. Stop shouting out the answer. <laughs> Well, I whisper and I just. Hey, Gordon, it's okay. Just you can shout out the answer, but don't unmute your mic when you do it, okay? Okay, zero and five is a pair that makes two. Is that true or false? Please don't shout out the answer. It's okay. Gordon ah. Nice. All, all of us got it. Okay. Oh yeah, and um for those of you playing, is 20 seconds enough or would you like me to increase the amount of time? 20 seconds. Uh -huh. You have 20 seconds to answer. So if you guys feel like it's not enough time, I can add it or add what? it. Okay. Nice job. Hey, Irene. Okay. Now, this is a bit difficult because you have to think about all the pairs that can make up four. And if the number of pairs you can think of that make up four is more than two, then the answer is false. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have gave more time on that. But yeah, nice job, whoever got it. Okay, now it's the same type of question, but uh, it's multiple choice. So how many pairs make up five? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I should definitely increase the time. Four? But, yeah, there are four pairs that make up five. You have zero and five. One and four, uh, two and three. Yeah. And wait, is that three? And what? Actually, wait. 
And zero, five, one, four, two, and three. Huh. Wait, I guess I guess there only is three. Uh, that is three. Yeah, okay, wait. So I guess, well, that's my mistake then. Whoever okay. answered three is, is correct. Tough. Okay. Strong. Okay, Angela in third place. Mason. And Irene, good job. Okay. Now, let's get back to uh, the stories. This one. Okay. Yay. Yay. Okay. So, uh, let's see. It's kind of like um one of the exercises we did last time, where we're kind of uh, describing the picture just with with a bunch of numbers. And now we're gonna add addition to it. Okay. So. Can someone make a story that tells me one group, in this case, of chickens, and another group of chickens, and the total amount of chickens? Okay, Gordon, give it a try. Uh, three, four people has bring four chickens. Two of them bring two chickens. Okay. Four people. Wait, sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, four people bring four chickens. Two people bring two chickens. Okay. And together, how many chickens are there? Six. Six. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Irene, do you want to do the next one? There's five pairs of small ones and four pairs of big ones. Together, they make nine. Perfect. Good job. Okay. Uh, who wants to do? Okay, Sophia, go ahead. Do number C. Oh, okay, Mason, go ahead. There are three fish. Two join them, then they're spying all. Nice. Okay, great job. Okay. Um, now, ooh, this one's a little bit tricky. Yeah, Sophia, go ahead. Or is it a question? Okay, Irene, go ahead. There's none in the each boat and three in the other boat. So that means that there is just three. Nice, okay, good job. Okay, now we're gonna have helicopters, okay? And it's basically the same, but you don't have this little hint down on the bottom, okay? So let's see if um, you can still do it. So who wants to try? Yeah, Mason, go ahead. There are four helicopters, then one more join them. Then there's five helicopters in all. Perfect. Okay. Now, uh, now we're going to step aside from stories. Now we're actually going to do some uh, addition, okay? So for those who haven't seen this, this is what we call an equation. 
okay? And basically, all you have to worry about um, now is the answer, which is right here in this blue box, okay? So then it would just be like um, making pairs. So this is basically um, asking, what number is going to result from six and two being a pair? Okay. And uh, well, the answer, I'm just going to do this one. The answer is going to be eight. Okay. And oh, wow. What was it? There we go. Okay. And you're going to find that. If you have the opposite way around, even if you have the same numbers and they're in different order, you're still gonna get the same answer, okay? Because two plus six is also eight. So just keep that in mind. It's a, it's a pretty useful trick. Okay. So what about this one? You also have a picture helping you. Okay, who wants to try this? Uh, oh, Angela, is that a hand? Okay, go ahead. Hey, perfect. Okay. Okay, what about this one, Irene, go ahead. <clears throat> three plus. Sorry. Oh, okay, nice job. Yeah, and uh, you, you can also say it out loud. You don't have to, you don't have to use annotate unless you want to, and that's where Perfectly fine. Okay. But again, notice if we have, or if we switch the order, the answer is still going to be the same. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Oh. Okay. Ooh, what about this one? Yeah, go ahead, Angela. Perfect. And once again, it's the same thing on the bottom. We still have eight. Okay. And uh, Sophia, did you did you want to do one as well? If so, you can go ahead. Seven plus one equals eight. Perfect. Okay. And again, it's also eight on the bottom. Doesn't matter if you switch the order. Eight. Huh? Irene, did you did you say something? Oh, one of them is eight. Uh well, there's one monkey. I think, yeah, there's one monkey here, and then there's seven more here. So yeah, all together, if you count them, you would get eight. Uh, I don't know if that answers your question. Hopefully it does. Okay. Now, uh, now it's gonna be a bit more difficult, okay? We're not, well, if you, if you have noticed, um, all of the answers are eight, okay? So this is basically showing all the number pairs that make up eight. And now we're gonna explore um, different ones, okay? So who wants to give this one a try? Yes, Angela, go ahead. Okay, and Mason, I'll let you do the next one, okay? Perfect, okay. And uh, Mason, go ahead. There are three carrots. Then, 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 
They grow three carrots. Then there's six carrots in all. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and yeah, Gordon, did you want to try this one? Gordon? Okay, uh, then Irene, go ahead. Irene? Okay. Seven plus three equals 10? Yeah, perfect, 10, okay. So, okay, uh, yeah, as it says here, we're, we're gonna um, see different types of addition, okay? So we are gonna have um, one number, and in this case, it's four. And we're gonna see what happens when we add one, two, three, and so on, okay? So, okay. One person, just shout it out. What is four plus one? Five. Five, perfect, okay. Four plus one is five, okay? And when we add two more instead of one more to four, you get six. Yes. Six, right? And then seven, okay? So if you realize the total number is affected by um, how much you add, okay? so. We have four and then we have one, that makes five. If we increase or if we have a bigger number uh, get added to four, then we will have a bigger number in uh, as a result. And specifically, if we look at this, um, two is one more than one and three is one more than two. So the answer is going to be one apart, that is, because, well, you're adding um, one more than you did last time. Okay. Now, who can answer this? It's, you're, you're still adding by one, but it's uh, a different number instead of uh, four. Okay, Irene, is that a hand? Yes. So, go ahead. Seven. Seven, okay. And then you, you can see that this will give you eight. And then, oh, well, it doesn't show, but seven plus three is, or wait, sorry. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Six plus one is seven. Six plus two is eight. And then six plus three is nine, okay? Sorry, I got, I got a bit confused. Okay, same problem or same, same type of problem. We have a different base number, which is seven, and then a different starting number to add. Okay, Irene, would you like to answer this? Seven and two makes nine. Nine, perfect, okay. Um, yeah, Gordon. Do you want to give this a try? Yes. Okay. Seven. Seven, perfect. Okay, so now can I get four people who wants to answer some questions? Just go ahead and raise your hand. Okay, we have Angela, Gordon, Sorry, I can't really see. Okay, Angela, Gordon, Irene, Sophia. Okay, okay, Gordon, go ahead and do A. Uh, Sophia, do B. Irene, do C. And Angela, do D. Okay. Uh, yeah, and yeah, go ahead and use annotation. So, in case you don't know, you would go to um, either the bottom or the top of your screen. Done. Nice. Okay. And you would click on the button um, uh, that looks like a pencil. Okay, that is hard. Okay, let's see. What was yours for? I can't. Nine? I can't. Sorry? I can't. 
I can't write on computers. I don't know how to. Okay, then can you answer it? Like just verbally? So what is five plus one? to write. That's one equals six. Seven plus one equals eight. Nine plus one equals eight. ten. Perfect. Okay. Good. So let's see. Uh, three plus two is five. Six plus two is eight. This is ten. Perfect. Uh, five plus three is eight. Okay. Perfect. Good job. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Now, uh, instead of finding what two numbers will make, we're going to look at one number and the ending number, and we're going to try and find the number that is added to the first one. Okay. So who can try number A? Actually, then we can just we can do the same thing. Okay. So can I have four volunteers again? Okay, Mason. Uh, Mason, Irene, is that a hand? Mason, Irene, Gordon, and Angela. Okay, Gordon, do A. Uh, uh, one, two. Gordon, do A. Okay, yeah. Mason, you can you can do B. Uh, Angela, do C, and uh, I think the rest Irene, do D. Can I go to the restroom? Done, again! Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, nice, Gordon. Okay, Irene did D, nice job. Okay, so Mason do B, nice. And Angela, go ahead and do C. So, uh, is that a seven? Okay, nice job. Okay. And uh, for, for those of you who don't really know how to do this, you can just start with one, uh, start with the number on the left, okay? So say we have uh, this problem A. You start with one and you would count to 10, okay? And the amount of times you have to count to get from one to 10 would be your answer. So you should count nine times, starting from one to get to 10. Okay. Um, okay, more practice. People who can use the chat, go ahead. Uh, just type out the answers from uh, E, F, G, H, uh, I, and J. And uh, Gordon. Um, Okay, uh, let's give some people some time and you can, you can say the answer, okay? Okay, so uh, type the answers in the chat this time. I can't. Yeah, uh, yeah, Gordon, don't worry. Um, it's okay. After, um, I'll, I'll let some people to think, or I'll let some people think and, um, yeah, after, after a bit, I'll let you answer, okay? Because, yeah, I want to give people some chances to think. Okay, yeah, Gordon, go ahead. Uh, what did you get for E? What? Uh, what did you get for E? Five. Okay. F. Hmm. F. Where is F? Uh, it's to the right of E. Uh, four. Okay. G. Three. Okay. H. Two. Okay. I. One. Okay. And J. Zero. Nice. Okay. So there's actually a pattern you might see. Oh, 10. Yeah, you all get 10. But if you look at the number, 
you start with, which is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You can see that as you make this number greater, the number here gets smaller, okay? Are you Sorry, scribbling? this is really messy. <laughs> Sorry? Are you scribbling? Yes, I am scribbling, okay. Uh, yeah, so the answers on the left get higher. The answers on the right get smaller, okay? Something to keep in mind, okay. Which rats will each cat catch? I realize that's 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 a tongue twister. Which rats will each cat catch? Okay, um, let's see. Okay, uh, well, okay, this. Ooh, okay. So you have two cats here. The first cat, uh, you can see there's a ten on it. Okay, and the second cat has a nine on it. So when we look at um, the mice here, whatever the answer is, it, uh, yeah, depending on what the answer is, it would go to either the 10 cat or the nine cat, okay? So for example, if I have this uh, mouse over here or this rat, um, three plus seven is 10. So this mice or this mouse or rat will go to uh, this cat, okay? So, um, Go ahead and write, okay, how about this? Write the number of each cat on the bottom of the rat to show what rat it goes to, okay? So for this, I would write 10 because that's what, that's the cat that it would go to, okay? And yeah, okay, yeah, so just go ahead, start writing numbers on the bottom. I'm not going to call on anyone. So whoever wants to go, just go ahead. Okay, Angela got one. Yeah, so just um, go and annotate and then write a number beneath each rat. Yeah, there we go, Gordon. Nine plus one equals ten. Yeah, perfect. Okay, right here. Out of ten. Okay. I guess um, I'll fill the rest in. Can I go again? Uh -huh. Step, step yeah. plus four equals ten. Nice. Okay, let me... Okay, yeah, Gordon, do you want to go ahead and do the last three on the bottom? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. There we go. Nice job. Okay. Now, we're going to use um, what you learned about addition and... Um, the different types of addition. We're gonna practice it, okay? So this is kind of like a story, but you're filling in sentences, okay? So can I get one volunteer? Okay, Gordon, go ahead and fill in these sentences with numbers. There are one big box. box. Is there one or is there more? There's three. There's I don't three. Like that. Okay. Okay. And how many small boxes are there? I don't know what Perfect. And go ahead and finish the last sentence. Good job. Okay. Okay. Can I have someone else that, uh, who also wants to try? Okay, Sophia, go ahead. Uh, there are 
four bags, bed, kid, and there, there are four boys, and there are four girls. Okay. And that equals eight. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Ooh, can I have another person who would answer this cat example? Okay, Angela, go ahead. Here, Irene, I'll, I'll let you do the next one, okay? Oh. Uh, yeah, Angela, you can go ahead and finish the other two sentences, too, if you want. Okay, perfect. And how many in total? There we go. Nice job. Okay. Irene. Go ahead, oh, how about this? Go ahead and do A and B, okay? Oh, Irene, did you wanna, did you wanna try? Nice job. And, oh, you can't. Uh, yeah, just write it somewhere else, I guess. Okay. Oh, or I can just go down. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, can I have someone else? Now we have eggs and uh, people. Okay, Gordon. A. Do I have to do two of them? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and do C and D. C and D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice job. Okay. Oh, Angela, did you have a question? Or, okay. Um, now, uh, okay, Angela, then do you want to do A? Okay, we have more fill in the blanks, uh, but we have a different type of addition. Angela, are you having some? Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, so you add two more, and how many would you have uh, after that?
five. Perfect. Okay. Now, can I get two people? Okay, Gordon and uh... okay, Gordon. I guess. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and do B and C. B and C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there are balls. So you have, yeah, so you start with a number of uh, baseballs in this basket, and then you add yeah. some amount, and what would you have One, after two, that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is correct. There we go. Okay. Same thing with C. Seven, you add seven more. Four more. Four. Oh, it's close to four. Three. Three, there you go. Okay, Gordon, you, you kind of flipped it. So yeah, but yeah, you're correct. You add three more and you would get seven uh, as a result, okay? Oh. Yeah, okay. So, oh, okay. Now, I guess we're revisiting uh, stories. So who can give me a story about balloons? Specifically with balloons here. Okay, Gordon, go ahead. Uh, the men pick eight balloons out and he picked one balloon. Okay. And what and would that give you? Eight and is is nine. Nine. Okay, correct. Okay. So if you have the same thing with rabbits, you would I guess you would just say first you have three rabbits and the three rabbits met five more rabbits and together you would have eight rabbits in total, okay? Okay. Ooh. Okay, does anyone want to tell me another story with cupcakes? Okay, Gordon, go ahead. Uh, the mom baked eight cupcakes and she put, and she put five on the left and three on the right. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now we do something different. Okay. Now we're going to write what we call um, equations um, here based on what we see. Okay. So on the, uh, on the left, you have three apples, and on the right, you have two more apples, okay? So I would write three plus two equals, and then whatever the result is, which is five, okay? And the same thing with pairs, okay? So if we have three pairs here, three pairs here, we would write... The number on the left side plus number on the, or the number on the left side plus number on the right side, 
and the total number, which is six. Yeah. Uh, who wants to give this a try? Will you write the equation? Okay, Angela, go ahead. And Gordon, you can do number B. Okay. Oh, well, well, I guess Angela did B. Then Gordon, can you do C? Yes. Okay. Uh, Irene, is that a question? Or would you like to answer one of the problems? It's a question. Why okay. is everybody so slow? Why is what? Everybody so slow. It is hard to write. Yeah, it is pretty hard to write, yeah. But yeah, I'm sure as long as everyone understands, um, how fast you go doesn't really matter. I, I think it's better if you get the right answer than to just do it fast and then do it wrong. But okay, great job, you two. Okay. So now we're gonna fill in some uh, of these addition sentences or equations, okay? So, Say we have B, the violin example. Since we have one violin here and then five violins here, we can start counting. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six in total, okay? So we would write six here. And you can also do, um, do it this way, where you have the pairs, like we did last time, uh, last class. So you'd have one here, five um, on the other side, and that will give you six. So the one and the five would be a pair in this case. Okay, same thing with uh, a comb. Comb? Yeah, okay. You have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So wow. now, yeah, now we know we have ten in total. Okay, and the same thing. We would write uh, three and seven since they are um, numbers that uh, make a pair and make ten. Okay. Something like that. Okay, uh, does anyone want to give this a try? Oh, okay, I mean. I mean, uh, is that a hand? Is it a question? Would you like to try this? Perfect. Okay. Now, let's see if we can do this really fast, okay? So I want Hi. people to just, <laughs> yeah, I want people to, to just start shouting out the answer, okay? And, no! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, try not, try not to, try not to destroy people's ears. Just calmly say it, okay? So, okay, Gordon said nine, which is correct. Okay, what about this one? Seven! Seven, perfect, okay. Yeah. What about this one? Six, okay, Wait, did, did you say six? I think so, okay. What about this one? Yay. Okay, nice. This one? Nine. Okay, this one? Ten. Okay. Okay, that was pretty fast. 
in the future, um, you guys should be able to do this uh, even faster, okay? It was Plus, fast. It was really fast, yeah. Okay. So, now, can I get some volunteers? Okay, Gordon, go ahead. Color, okay, so here, I'll just do the first one to show you, okay? So, we have this number here, six. So, you would color all the flowers that make up six, okay? Okay. So, this one I would color. Yeah. Um, this one I would color, okay? Yes. This one I would also color. Okay, go ahead and uh, do the same for uh, eight. Eight. And would anyone else also like to try? Okay, Angela, go ahead and do five. Color all the flowers that yeah. add up to five. Mm Okay, and Angela, there's one more for your uh, row. See if you can find it. Yeah, nice job, okay. Uh, do you guys want more practice on this, or do you guys think you're fine? Okay, Corden, go ahead and do seven. Yay! <laughs> nice job. Okay. Now... Okay, now we're gonna go back to uh, completing a bunch of equations, okay? So same thing, you guys can just shout out the answer. Try not to destroy people's ears. Okay, for the first one, how many Eight. children are there? Eight, okay. Um, how many balls in, are in the basket? Yeah. Nine. Nine, okay. How many shoes? Or not, sorry, not shoes, hats are being carried. Eight, not eight. Eight, okay, there we go. Okay, how many books are on the shelf? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, okay, perfect. Okay. Seven. <laughs> okay, yeah, the answer is seven. So what you would do is like, here, it shows you. Trace just... it. <sighs> yeah, well, for this, I would trace it. But for the real example, you, you would have to draw it yourself, okay? So, okay. say if I have four birds, okay? Well, if you have drawn, if, if you draw three more birds, you would have seven birds in total. Total. Uh, so you would just go ahead and draw. Um, that's your how to draw a bird? Well, this is the simple way. Well, the first one looks at a looks at a fish. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who wants to try drawing or completing this exercise? Okay, Gordon, go ahead. Nice job. And how many umbrellas would you have in total after this? Four. Four. Perfect. Okay. Does anyone want to try? Okay. Uh, Irene, go ahead and try number, uh, or not number, letter D. Okay. 
Nice job. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do a few more problems. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Angela, would you like to do this one? Okay. Uh, who wants to try and do this one? No. <laughs> okay. Sophia, go ahead. Seven plus two equals nine. Perfect. Okay, last one. Who, who wants to do the last one? Okay, Gordon. Ten. Perfect. Okay. Hopefully you guys have gotten more familiar with addition and just adding two numbers together, okay? How about subtraction? Subtraction. Okay, you guys are, I think, Think yeah, I think you guys are gonna learn about that in the future. A pumpkin seed. <laughs> okay, let's see. You do want to know? We can we can try and see when you would learn subtraction. No. Oh. Okay. Looks like you guys are learning subtraction next class. I learned it. Nice. Okay. Um. Then, I guess this concludes our class. Thank you everyone for coming. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. And see you later. Yeah.